Hey guys, what's going on? Ultimate DJs here from the Talking Trek Podcast, and welcome! Happy holidays to you! Appreciate you guys all being here. Listen, while you are here, click on the little subscribe button, okay? Click the bell notifier so you're notified of all future content. Leave your comments in the section below, and of course, be sure to like the video. We want to thank you so much. Myself, Snake Eyes, all the Talking Trek team, we want to thank you for hanging out for our entire first season, the entire 2020 year of Talking Trek. And what we would like to do for you here, right here, is the best of stupid news. All of the news all gathered together from the entire year and the absolute best clips right here for you. Here is season one, best of stupid news. Uh, listen, we got a lot to talk about today and uh, we're going to get to everything as we always do, of course. But the first thing that we do at the beginning of every show, absolutely stupid, stupid news. We do stupid news. All right, so let's uh, get to the news headlines, see what's going on in the world today. Got a lot of stuff to get to. Uh, of course, we know that... Well, there's a lot of politics and stuff going on. I'm not really going to get into a whole lot of that. We'll we'll get to some of it. Um, but uh, let's see. What else we got? Yeah, yeah, beyond that's going on. Trump was impeached. There's no joke for that yet. <laughs> or maybe that is the joke. I don't know. Trump is officially impeached. and uh, But now, now uh, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi does not want to send the articles of impeachment to the Senate because she's worried about a biased Senate vote. That's the pot calling the kettle black right there. So I'm, I'm going to say that. That's my last political joke. Well, yes, it is majority Republic, but what's the House? It's majority Democrat. It, there's nothing that's not biased in government. Anyway, well, moving thank on. Thank God they went through all the effort then. Yeah, right. Thank goodness that they spent all that taxpayer money and uh, they're just going to sit on it now. So, uh, anyway. They want to raid. <laughs> China, uh, China has told its government offices to remove all American computer equipment. Apparently, somebody downloaded a Stormy Daniels video. Everybody got a virus. <laughs> uh, yeah, their computers went from HP. <laughs> their videos went from HP to HPV. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, that's good. The wife of Papa John's founder, John uh, Schnatter. Schnatter? I don't know how you say that uh his wife filing for divorce uh analysts and accountants are all looking at it i mean obviously he's a very successful most one of the most successful pizza franchises in the country and all estimating that it's going to cost him a ton of dough <laughs> uh, yes <laughs> thank you come on somebody fine i'll do it myself thank you Thank you. Cost him a ton Madame of dough. Tish. Yes. Uh, Disney announces, uh, Disney's in the news, announcing that uh, it plans to hit pause on the Star Wars franchise following this month's, uh, actually tonight's launch of Rise of Skywalker. Disney wants to give longtime Star Wars fans a chance to try something new, like uh, maybe dating. Uh, <laughs> I, I saw it last night in the Netherlands. Oh, was it last night? Okay. I, I, I think here in the States it actually opens tonight at midnight. So, um, uh, I've seen it. Want to know what happens? No. Oh, my God. You'll get booted out of, you'll get booted out of here so fast. Uh, all right. You know what? Here, here's the only spoiler that I will allow. Is there a baby Yoda in that movie? No, no, of course Only not. Only porn. <laughs> There's no baby Yuda. Baby Yuda. Baby Yuda. Four spoilers. I'm getting off. Uh, let's see. Here's uh, here's another cool news story. A group of porn actresses are furious that actor James Dean received another award despite the fact that there are multiple sexual assault accusations against him. These porn actresses want to put him in handcuffs, and after that, they'd like to see him be arrested. But on. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Russia is in the news. Russia is being banned from competing in next year's Tokyo Olympics because of a massive steroids scheme. Um, you don't want to joke about steroid use, though, with Russian athletes. They're very, very sensitive. Um, made fun of a Russian athlete one time, and then she threw a school bus at me. So thought she was going to hit me with her penis there for a second, but it's just a school bus. Uh, <laughs> Wrong <laughs> That's terrible. Sorry for anybody who's Russian. Uh, let's see. Oh, <laughs> this is a good story. A new John, survey. <laughs> a new survey finds that nine in ten Americans have been duped by an online scam. 
Uh, technically 10 and 10 if you count everyone who's bought a pack from Star Trek Fleet Command. But don't. I kid. I disagree. I kid. I'm kidding, Scopely. Take a joke. Take a joke. Uh, let's see. I got one more story for you, and then we'll... Let me see. Is this the story I want to use? Oh, you know what? I do want to use this story. Hang on. This is a great story. Um... Oh, yeah, that was a Baby Yoda story. Eh, maybe I'll read that one, too. North Korea launched a long-range missile this past week, and this story is actually three or four days old. North Korea launched a long-range missile on Saturday in its latest act of defiance against President Trump in the United States. Kim Jong-un is just in a bad mood because he found out there is no Baby Yoda toy for Christmas. Uh, <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. He's just grumpy. People are giving him a hard time because he's bought a wife. He, uh, he bought his wife a Peloton bike for Christmas, so... He's in trouble for that. Uh, and <laughs> finally, finally is my last story. Uh, a retired Air Force general claims that the United States military has technology. Guys, I'm not even kidding. This guy swears up and down it's a truth. Swears that the United States military has technology that can transport a person anywhere with uh, on the earth within an hour. Dude claims that the United States military has transporter technology. That I is want this technology. <laughs> right. Uh, oh, the, yeah. the only problem with that is you got to sign a waiver. Your luggage is going to show up in the wrong city only half of the time. Okay. Just, <laughs> just, just half. <laughs> I've seen it. No. They put people on ICBMs and launch them. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I want to transport to where DJ is. you like, I'm buying a car from you. Oh, yeah. Well, you. I mean, you could do that. That'd be fine. That'd be fine. That Come might. On. That might fit into an ICBM. Yeah, possibly. Possibly a new Ford Focus. Uh, let's see here. I, I'll, give, I'll give you one more just because I don't want to save a half a sheet of paper. Uh, a new study found that any amount of running can lower your risk of an early death. And that's, uh, that's excellent for me because I always run to the fridge during commercial breaks. So I Unless you get hit by a bus. <laughs> unless you get, listen, any amount of running can lower your risk of early death unless you're doing it outdoors in Chicago after dark. Okay, that's, uh, that's the only thing. Chicar- Did I say Chicago? Chicago? Yes. Chicago. You don't want to get hit by a car in Chicago. All right, anyway. Uh, <laughs> that's enough. I've got... <laughs> And we'll uh, we'll talk all about it. I do have some stuff to get to, uh, but as we do every single episode, it is not an episode of Talking Trek Live without kicking off with a little bit of stupid news. Hold on, where's the button? Oh. <laughs> Apparently, that's still playing in the background. <laughs> I like it though. We'll play it. All right, now it's over. Now it's over. Now we can play. Uh, now we can play the the. We're, God, see everything. Everything moves. God. That's not even the one I wanted, but we'll go with it. It's fine. I'm so over it today. I haven't done a show in a week. By the way, hope everyone had a Merry Christmas or Kwanzaa and Festivus and whatever it is that you had done. If you didn't do any of those things, I hope you just had a great time while everyone else was having time off. Haven't done a show for a whole week, so all my buttons, I don't remember where they are. And Now you get this. That's what you get today. Uh, let's see what is in the news, though. Uh, Fiat Chrysler is in the news, has merged with Pugo. Is that how you say that? Car company? Pugo in a $50 billion, $50 billion deal. The talks had broken down for a little while, but that's fortunately both of these companies were used to things breaking down, so everything got back on track and <laughs> and they're fine now. <laughs> my Ford. Uh, don't be knocking, don't be knocking on my Fords, buddy. Don't be knocking on my Fords. You know that's what I do. Uh, who is uh, no one? Listen, try to keep an eye on server uh, voice activity there. Somebody's feeding back, so. See if we can. Uh, I haven't heard no. I haven't heard no feedback on my end. I'm getting a little bit of it. See if you can I'm, keep a. See if you can keep a little eye on it. I hope it ain't me. I'm, I'm seeing Jay. Jay Coon, maybe Jay Coon. Yeah. Jay Coon. Yeah, I'll mute him. Jay Coon. Um, let's see. An alarming new study found that over twenty percent, twenty percent of high school seniors have tried marijuana. They vaped it. Sorry, that, that's the survey. Twenty percent of high school seniors have vaped marijuana. All the rest Especially of them used a, all the rest of them used a bong though, so it's uh, <laughs> it's a high high percentage, uh, twenty and eighty there. All right, 
What's next? Uh, San Fran. <laughs> oh, this is good. Man, who is that now? Is that Scaly back? Amara. Uh, uh, Oh, I'll try. It. Yeah, listen. No one in his brand new podcast moderation duties is dropping the ball there a little bit. Not hey, to, I was. <laughs> I'm playing another game. Leave me be. You have work to do. You're a producer now. Oh my god! I'll get off the game. Then. Jeez, take your responsibilities. <laughs> Peter, that's why you start streaming on Twitch again. Be serious, okay? Listen, you should be, be taking. You should be taking this stream and simulcasting it onto your Twitch. That's God. what you should be. God bless get, it, Rams. Get, get Jake Coon, please. Hey, he's already muted. I muted him. He's server I muted. I server muted him. Listen, Rams Nation just now posted uh, posted my location, so appreciate that. <laughs> I'm glad Rams are not on the same server then. Thank you for that. Posted one of my locations. I mean, I made it pretty easy. I've talked about how I'm positive faction, and now I just said I was parked in hostile space. Obviously, you know where to find me. Bonus points for whoever can actually go and find me. Maybe, maybe we'll do that. Maybe I'll give you a prize if you go and blow up my ship. Uh, yeah, nah, Rams, it was. That be fair. It was easy, Rams. It's just simple deduction. That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> simple deduction. All right, let's see what else is in the nose. Um, a San Francisco man was arrested for defecating in a grocery store. That's why you say you should never go to the grocery store. You just end up with crap you don't need. <laughs> Thank you. I got one. Hold on. Wait, so it's a little bit of crap there, there but it's okay to crap in the <laughs> No, you can crap in a grocery store as long as you're in a toilet. Yeah. I don't know. There's arguments to that. I mean, have you ever been into a grocery store and found something a little bit weird on the one. floor? I used to work at one. Yeah, and you found weird stuff on the floor. And... Yeah. I mean, it's I happened. I work at a sex shop. Yeah, it's happened. Hey, come on. You never found a dirty diaper in the meat section? Oh, oh God. <laughs> All right, moving on. A Southwest <laughs> Anyways. Air Southwest Airlines is in the news. Buddy, they've had a rough couple of weeks. They, we made a joke about them here about a week ago. They're in the news again. Uh, Southwest Airlines flight attendant claims that she caught two pilots watching a live stream of people using the toilets on the plane. Spirit Airlines again shocked. They said, you guys have toilets? <laughs> <laughs> first well, it was that's mechanics. Gonna that's going to cause some turbulences. No, first they, they didn't have mechanics, now they don't have toilets. Spirit Airlines is just, buddy, there. Spirited. You're, you're, you're flying in a shoebox. That's what you're doing there. <laughs> uh, a New York man was dressed as Elmo uh, and was arrested for groping women in Times Square last weekend. But it, in all fairness, it was it was good to see Anthony Weiner in the news again. So I was uh, was glad to hear about that. Uh, let's see, <laughs> we have anything else? Uh, yeah, I'll give you I'll give you one more here. Taylor Swift is in the news. How many uh, hey, hey. how many Swifties we have in here? Anybody? Anybody big uh, T Swift fans? I'm yeah, gonna no, go. No. I'm gonna go. Gonna like go. Unless I actually, eh, I'll tell you. I kind of like it. I kind of dig her music, not the country stuff, the new good stuff. That's what I like. Uh, the good stuff is what I say. Um, I knew it, Jewy. See, we've got a player on our server. He's always been very hush hush about his true identity. We've always tried to guess who it is. Now we know it's Taylor Swift. Uh, that's <laughs> Taylor Swift plays Star Trek Fleet Command, guys. It's a fact. You heard it here first. All right, uh, let's see. Last story. Oh, yeah, T-Swift. She is in the news. She says she has security cameras. Get this, guys. And I, Do you want to talk about getting your hands on some footage? Hands on some footage. Taylor Swift says Taylor that she... Swift, oh, she... come on. Come on. <laughs> All right, I'm trying. I'm trying to find it. <laughs> it's Kirk. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Yeah, it's Kirk. Kirk's strong person. Yep, I thought I got him. Oh, well, I'm trying yeah, to help. Yeah. Do, you, do you want me to keep hands off? I'll keep hands off. You just handle it. Okay. I'm trying to. I was trying to do it. I probably did it at the same time you undid it. Anyway, um, yeah. Taylor Swift says she has security cameras focused on her butt at all times after she was groped at a meet and greet in Colorado. Taylor is refusing to turn the other cheek in an effort to make sure that uh, she is deferring anybody who is actually trying to grab her derriere. That's that's a true. I, no, that's I, that's true. I am not. That was no joke intended. Which uh, which of the four which of the four cheeks? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I'm gonna guess the two uh, at the top of her incredibly long, sexy, and very creamy, soft-looking legs. 
Um, oh man, you need it badly, right? <laughs> People do think she's overreacting. Tell us how you really feel about it. I mean, she's got nice legs. She got she got nice most things, guys. I'm just gonna say. I mean, listen, she got her teeth are a little long, but I mean, I can live with it. Okay, I, I'm in. Taylor, if you're interested in someone to teach you the ways of Star Trek Fleet Command. I'm your guy. <laughs> I'm, your, I'm your guy. People think she's overreacting, but I mean, listen, it's a serious thing. Uh, celebrities get attacked all the time, but let's not forget, she is also campaigning with Democrats now. She's going to need these cameras if Joe Biden gets nominated. She's going to need them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's your stupid news, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We'll begin today as we uh, as we typically do with a little bit of news and stupid <laughs> <Yes>. news. <laughs> news news yeah we'll get to the news we do have uh, a good a good handful of stories to give you today and also yeah I know I know Snake Eyes we're on the clock all right we're gonna we're gonna get through Snake Eyes promises me that he's gonna keep me on a clock today we're gonna keep the last show was two hours. I feel like that's a little long for a podcast, so we're gonna we're gonna keep it quick. We're gonna bam bam. All right, get through the show. Uh, U.S. Treasury Department is in the news reporting that the federal deficit grew by ten trillion dollars in the last ten years, the last decade, guys. The 2010s, our deficit grew by ten trillion dollars. The national debt's getting so high. Kids are now listening to their uh, their favorite songs that are themed in, like Baby Loan Shark, do 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 do. Yeah, <laughs> Baby Baby Loan Shark. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, political insiders now saying that Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders have the best chance at winning the Democratic nomination. It is a little ironic, though, that the party that's been complaining about old white men is about to send two guys to Washington who actually knew Washington. So I uh, find that ironic and hilarious at the same time. Thank you, Snake Eyes. Fozzie is my favorite. Uh, here's an interesting story, guys. British retailers are planning on selling sex robots in 2020 that are so realistic, most men won't be able to tell the difference between having sex with the robot or a human. That's what they say. That's that's what they're saying. Now, to be fair, most of these men buying these robots probably never had sex with a human, but we're we're. There, I'm sure there'll be some product testing. <laughs> we'll, we'll do that. These, uh, as a matter of fact, these sex dolls are so realistic that the only way to stop them from having sex is to marry them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no one. I'm using grown-up words. There is no crass language here. It's just the content. He says PG-13. Yeah, right. Uh, All let's, play show. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else we got. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mariah's, uh, Mariah Carey's Twitter account was hacked by someone spewing racial slurs and dissed Eminem. Did you guys read about this? Her Twitter account was hacked. Police know, though, that it wasn't Mariah because all the words were spelled right. So they know that it wasn't actually her on there doing all this terrible stuff. Uh, according to court records, <laughs> according to court records, after they were discovered having sex inside the woman this is a very sex themed show today if you guys can't tell according to court records after they were discovered having sex inside the women's bathroom at a beachside bar a 62 year old woman and her 60 year old male counterpart uh, or uh, male companion rather tussled with cops uh, who tried to arrest the tipsy duo police were called early last Sunday morning to Jimmy B's beach bar where workers at the St. Peach St. Pete Beach Club found these two having intercourse in the women's bathroom. I uh, Truly, though, I don't feel like they should be charged with anything. I mean, after this past Miami Dolphins season, it's just nice to see someone in Florida scoring, right? So, there, there is that. <laughs> scoring. Yes, thank you for that. <laughs> Facebook is in the news. Get this, guys. Now, this is a real thing. We had trouble with this during the last political season, right? Facebook says that they're going to continue allowing false claims to be made in political ads. Facebook announced the news this past week with a quiz that tells users which Russian propaganda bot they would be. Um, (laughs) Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, Viper, this is good. All right, Taco Bell. Hey, guys, this is this is kind of cool, right? This is big news. Taco Bell is offering store managers. Guys, anybody looking for a new career? This might be it. Offering store managers a $100,000 salary and free food in order to keep them with the company. Uh, the free food seems like a bit much, maybe. The whole point of making 100 grand a year, though, that you don't have to eat Taco Bell, perhaps. I don't know. I'm just I'm kind of throwing it. If you made $100,000, would you still eat Taco Bell? I kind of feel like I would. Yeah, I would, but it's going to weight loss time, though. <laughs> I think I feel, I feel like I kind of would. $100,000. Weight loss time, I get my gas from. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, think, I think I would. Um, all right, let's see, uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, President Trump, oh, this is good stuff. President Trump and Michael Bloomberg have both purchased $10 million Super Bowl ads to run during the big game. Uh, for those of you Browns fans, the Super Bowl is a game at the end of the playoffs, which is a tournament at the end of the regular season for all the best teams. Just in case you hadn't been there in a while and <laughs> forgot what the Super Bowl was. There. <laughs> Thank you, Snake Eyes. Appreciate that. Secret Service is investigating an undisclosed disturbance at President Trump's Mar-a-Lago residence in Florida. Uh, apparently, Hillary is playing uh, ring and run again. They thought they, st- <laughs> they thought they stopped her after the last toilet papering incident, but uh, no. Hillary never gives up. Hillary finds a way. That is a Toy Story joke. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. Do we have anything else? Yeah, you know what? That's good. That's good for today. I, I got more, but we'll we'll roll with it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Thank you, Ambassador. Appreciate that. Let's see if we can get to uh, some stupid news. News. Yes. News. Mm-hmm. news. I love stupid news. <laughs> news. News. All from Florida this week. Uh, I'm sure we've got some. I'm sure we got some news from Florida. We'll see what we can. Uh, we'll see what we can find. Scaly back. Thank you. Congratulations on the level up. That's right. He's not talking about my ops though. <laughs> he's he's talking about my earthly years. All right, guys. Uh, let's see what do we got. Some political news in the. Uh, oh golly, it's been a busy political week, has it not, Cory Booker? officially dropped out of the 2020 presidential race this week, which absolutely shocked a lot of voters because most people didn't know he was still in. So, (laughs) yeah, I know, Thad, the Niners are demolishing Green Bay right now. Like, you know, I told people before the game uh, tonight, I was telling some of my family who was over, I said, listen, this is going to be, this could be a really good game. It just depends on which Packers team shows up because last week, they didn't play very well. They got the win, but they didn't play very well. A couple of weeks before that, they were on fire. They looked like a Super Bowl team that nobody could stop. And now, like I said, just Green Bay just hasn't been super consistent all year. That's their problem. They haven't been consistent. Uh, let's see. What else we got? Elizabeth Warren. Uh, yeah, I don't even want to read that story. That's not even funny. Bernie <laughs> Bernie Sanders is in the news, though, uh, is leading the latest Iowa straw poll with uh, less than three weeks to go until the first votes are cast. His opponents aren't really worried about him keeping the lead, though, because Bernie loves giving things away. So uh, we'll see how that plays out here in just a couple of weeks. CBS is in the news and has uh, greenlit a new Silence of the Lambs spinoff called Clarice. This is a really interesting thing. I, I think I would probably watch it. Uh, Clarice had did have a better ring to it than the other potential titles, like How I Cooked Your Mother or The Young and the Delicious. Uh, so uh, they're, they, they <laughs> yeah, Snake Eyes. They had a they had a roundtable about what they were going to call it. Uh, get this. How about this? India's oldest woman celebrated her 108th birthday this week and told reporters that she's never drank and never smoked which explains that why she will eventually just die of boredom. All right. <laughs> Nothing's going to kill her except for boredom. Uh, Depeche Mode, the Doobie Brothers, Whitney Houston, Nine Inch Nails, Notorious B.I.G., and T-Rex were this year's nominees to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Uh, in my opinion, Chumbawamba got robbed. I believe, I believe that. I love Chumbawamba, uh, but it's okay. They get knocked they- down. They will get up again. 
they'll come. They'll make it. I love Chumba Wumba. Uh, let's see. Run DMC is going to perform with Aerosmith at the Grammys. So uh, if you're listening to this and you're a millennial, be sure to tell your parents. <laughs> That's going to happen at the Grammys this year. Um, oh, this is funny. Have you guys heard about this? Spotify. Uh, Spotify has launched a new playlist for dogs. Have you guys heard about this? Uh, they've got this playlist thing where they, the, the dogs who are left alone, you can play this Spotify playlist. Uh, if, as if for some reason the dog wants to stop it, he can hit the pause button. <laughs> I'm going to show myself out. Uh, yeah, the pause button. Uh, but it is, it is, it's officially live now. Uh, I hate to be the one to break it to you guys, though. <laughs> Seriously, your dog does not like music. You're not putting it on for him. Let's face it. You're, you're putting it on for you because you feel guilty when you leave. Anytime you play The Doors, your dog is laying there thinking people are strange. <laughs> And he wants to break on through the front door, make a run for it. <laughs> I was going to do another Doors pun, but I promise this is the end. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's good. Uh, a survey by U.S. World and News named Switzerland as the best country in the world. I would comment on Switzerland, but I'm going to stay neutral. <laughs> History majors are going to get that one. <laughs> Canada... <laughs> Canada is now second on the list, uh, but in fairness, this was taken before Harry and Meghan uh, announced their plans to move there. The U.S. technically came in seventh, but uh, in modern-day America, we're all going to get a trophy. Congratulations, <laughs> seventh place. woo Yeah, uh, Yes, that's right. Uh, let's see. Nancy Pelosi is being mocked for giving away commemorative pens after she signed the impeachment articles in the House of Representatives. Even Trump was giving her a hard time, said you should have sold them. <laughs> why'd, you, why'd you give them away? You should have sold them. Uh, let's see. Uh, President Trump, of course, in the news announced that this year's Independence Day celebration will include a fireworks display at Mount Rushmore that he's going to try to attend. It all depends on weather, he says, as in whether they've added his face to the monument by then, is my guess. <laughs> Finally, supermodel Gigi Hadid was dismissed as a juror in Harvey Weinstein's trial this past week. The problem was they were giving jurors uh, $20 a day for food, and she didn't know what to do with it. So <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh, Forex. <laughs> I thought it was good. All right, fine. I'll stop there. You And there you go, folks, the best of stupid news. But this is only a piece. We've got more to come. So please be sure to click on the subscribe button, click on the little bell notifier, because as Snake Eyes digs out this comedy gold, we are putting it in video form for you. So there is more of the best of stupid news yet to come. Thank you so much for sticking with us. On behalf of the entire staff of Talking Trek, we wish you the happiest of holiday seasons, and we'll see you back here very, very soon. Love you, minute. Bye.